trouble and you need someone to help you out there's no need to whistle and there's no need to shout hey 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 help is on its way call the koala brothers call the koala brothers call the koala brothers call the koala brothers help is on its way You may have noticed that George the Turtle loves being a postman, and he's very good at it too. Hoo wee! Hi! <laughs> Morning, Mitzi. Ned, what can I do for you today? Is it okay if we put up a poster? Of course. A poster? For what? We're having a sports day tomorrow. It was all Mitzi's idea. Yeah, we're having a sack race, an egg and spoon race, a three-legged race. Mitzi and me are doing that one. Uh, what shall we put your name down for, George? Ah, uh, well, uh, I... Uh... It's real easy, George. You just pick the sport you're good at. Oh, well, uh, I'll have to think about it, Mitzi. Don't forget, will you? Come on, Ned. Hmm. After Ned and Mitzi left, George looked at the poster for a long time. Oh dear, I don't know. He seemed to be worried about something. Oh, I'm going in for the long jump. Oh. I'm more the sack race type myself. I've always done well at the egg and spoon race. Everyone seemed to be excited about the sports day. Everyone, that is, except George. Oh, hi, George. Oh, what sport are you putting your name down for? Oh, I, uh, I uh, haven't even thought about it yet, Sammy. Uh, no time. Uh, lots of mail to deliver. George, is everything all right? Fine. Everything's just fine. Oh. Oh. The truth was, George couldn't think of a single thing in Mitzi's sports day that he'd be good at. Oh. Morning, George. Just getting a little training in for Mitzi's sports day. <laughs> I'm in the high jump. <laughs> What'll you be entering in, old chap? George really didn't want to admit that he wasn't good at anything, so he decided to make up a story. Oh, I'm uh, not going to the sports day. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, ill. Really? Oh, you look as fit as a fiddle to me. Ah, no, no, I meant uh, I'm going to be ill tomorrow. <laughs> yes, that's it. I'm going to be too ill for the sports day. Ill tomorrow, eh? Oh, dear, I'm sorry to hear that, George. <gasps> anyway, must run. Wish me luck. <laughs> Good luck. You're doing great, Mitzi. That's it, Ned. Back Ned. at the homestead, right. Frank and Ned. Buster were helping right. Mitzi and Ned get ready right. for the sports day. Oh, I'm sorry, Mitzi. We're never going to win unless we get it right. What's this, Mitzi? That's my list of who's doing what in the sports day. I'm doing the egg and spoon and the sack race. Not both at the same time, I hope. <laughs> oh, Frank. Mitzi, you don't have George's name down for anything. That's because George hasn't put his name down for anything. I've asked him and asked him. <laughs> Poor old George can't be at the sports day. He just told me. He isn't coming. What? Why not? <laughs> he said he's going to be ill tomorrow. How does George know he's going to be ill tomorrow? There's something funny about all this, Buster. Maybe we should have a look for George, see if he's OK. Good idea, Frank. We can take the plane. Any sign of him yet, Buster? No, Frank. I... Hang on. There he is. He's by the crossroads having a cup of tea. Well spotted, Buster. Hang on. We're going in. <laughs> Hi, George. Oh, good day there, Frank. Buster. Are you OK, George? Oh, everybody's been asking me what I'll be doing for the sports day. Well, the answer's nothing, because I won't be there. Oh, yeah. Archie said you were going to be ill tomorrow. Um... That's not really true, is it, George? Well, no, not exactly. What's wrong, George? Well, it's just I'm no good at the egg and spoon race or the sack race. I'm no good at anything, really, except delivering the mail. I'm sure we can find something you're good at, George. Do you think so? Yeah. Why don't you come out to the homestead and we'll give you a bit of a hand? Oh, really? 
Oh, thanks, fellas. That's all right, George. After all, we're, we're here to help. Oh. Oh. Uh, 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 oh. But finding one of Mitzi's sports day games that George was good at was a little harder than Frank and Buster first thought. Oh, it's no good. Thanks for trying to help, fellas, but I'm I'm not really good at doing any of those things. But, George... Oh, it's all right. I don't mind, really. What are we going to do, Frank? I don't know, Buster, but I hate to see George looking so unhappy. The sports day wouldn't be the same without all of us there, George. Couldn't you just go in for one thing? I may as well face it. I'm only good at being a postman. I think we should leave him on his own for a while. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Buster? I think so, Frank. You know, George, maybe there is something you'll be good at. Something you could enter at Sports Day tomorrow. Do you, do you really think so? Yes! The next day, everyone gathered at the waterhole for the Sports Day. Your turn coming up, George. Soon. Soon. Now, the sack race. And finally. Now it's my turn. Into the target cans over there, and the contestants are Frank, Sammy, and George. Sammy to go first. Good luck, Sammy. You too, George. <coughs> oh. You'll go now, Frank. something you're good at. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, two things, actually, cos uh, I'm still good at delivering the mail. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, George. First prize. That was beaut, George. Do you think you could teach me to do it? Me, me too, too, George. George. Oh, there's nothing to it, really. You just... Uh, that day, George never felt happier. He discovered that he was good at something other than delivering the post after all. That's because everyone is good at something. It can just take a little time and some help from your friends to find out what it is. <laughs> <laughs> 